Hello everybody, my name is Grim Scythe and welcome to Tessa's Ark. This is an early access game currently available on Steam. And I'm just going to go ahead and read you a description from the store page. Uh, a sci-fi RPG set in a world where humans have shed the limitations of the corporeal body to inhabit existence as beings of pure thoughts. Solve puzzles to unlock the secrets of the digital reality. So yeah, this game's over on Steam right now, uh, available for $2.99. Uh, I did receive a copy um, from the developer to test out the game and get some feedback on it. So we're going to make a playthrough here on the tutorials and uh, we'll see what it's like. And uh, this is basically just a first impressions video. I have not checked anything out, even the tutorials at this point. So we'll just jump on in and see what it's like. Uh, I do need to get this in uh, full screen there. Sorry about that. All right, so let's go. All right, um, gameplay directions. The path follow forward is blocked by voltage interlocks that need to be resolved to progress. Tessa starts each puzzle with a full life bar below her portrait that diminishes every time the interlock has been manually reset. Okay. The voltage in the room starts at a baseline voltage displayed on the current voltage button. Starting voltage of this tutorial section is 5, as displayed on the current voltage button. Okay. Current voltage is altered by guiding Tessa Spark to various colored nodes by using the gamepad, mouse, or touch control. Guide the Spark representing Tessa to a yellow paddle to raise the current voltage by the number displayed on the paddle, in this case making it 8. Okay. Red panels lower the voltage by the number, which brings it back down to 5, right? Green paddles multiply the current voltage by the number on the paddle, okay? Purple divide the current voltage by the number on the paddle, which brings the current voltage back down to 5. If the puzzle becomes, a little bit of a typo there, uh, unwinnable, add Tessa to the mag magenta reset button. Try not to reset the puzzle manually too often or else Tessa's health will drain quickly. Okay. Once the current voltage equ equals the target voltage, 14 in this case, the blue resolve panel will light up, the room will reset, and the exit button will appear and allow you to progress to the game. Okay. I guess that's the end of that tutorial. Let's check out the second one. Comp Troller. You need to align wavelengths of the light passing through the hardware blocks so that a numerical signal can pass through the fiber optic line, unlocking the main block at the end. You can then pass the distribution nodes and access the five sublayers. The numeric code is generated by rotating a series of prisms to change the wavelength of laser light passing through them. The blocks come in a single configuration, also in a stacked configuration. In a single configuration, the prism outputs in the main spectral colors green, which has, as before, multiplies the signal. Red, which subtracts, and blue, which can stop the signal completely if optical. Okay. In a stack of double configuration, the prism's output is combined into tertiary frequency, or is cancelled out by a like signal. For example, if two green prisms are aligned the block turns gray and the signal passes through unaltered. The green and red signal combine yellow which adds to the signal, while red and blue form purple which divides. Green and blue form a light blue which will split the signal down two paths if they are available. If only one path is available, it will act as a single blue and block the incoming signal. Okay. Even though the frequency of the input may have changed, the signal will only be released if the appropriate input frequency is selected, eliminating the need for voltage over underruns in room resetting. Areas of the circuit may, however, be inaccessible except by direct energy transfer across the interface. This can only be done by guiding the spark to one of the yellow teleportation nodes. Part of your energy is used upon arrival at the corresponding regeneration node for recom piling your signal, so try to limit the number of teleportations needed to unlock the fiber optic link. Okay, that's a lot of information, so I don't know how much of that I'm going to remember as we're playing, so we'll just try to figure it out as we go. So let's start a new game. 
Uh, again, this is an early access, so it's, um, from my understanding, it's mostly just a demo at this point. Um, so there's not going to be a lot of stuff available. There is some uh, story to be had here as well. So uh, Tessa speaks. I have rewritten the beginning of this story too many times to count at this point. Usually I'm very poignant. Captain of the debate team in high school anyway. Ultimately, I've come to this conclusion. You just need to have been there. One bit of advice I heard repeatedly throughout my life is an old proverb, that a journey of a thousand miles starts with one step. I might as well start there then, at the first step. When I realized the life I'd been living was a facade, like spray paint over rust. For example, this blue spark you see here is me. This is my soul, life force. Whatever. You, why is this flashing like that? It's very annoying. Uh, whatever you want to call it. This is how I woke up. Well, not exactly. This is it. This at least. Let me explain it to you this way. The way it was explained to me. Blue and red are terrible colors together. They are very upsetting. <laughs> Didn't like that at all. Uh, okay, Sector, get up. You need to move. Uh, where am I? What's going on? We don't have time for you to orient yourself. Right now, you are in a pause state, but you will only exist a microsecond without parsing. Parsing? Yes, now I am projecting your parameters using my internal parser, but you must install one of your own to gain corporeal presence. I have an extra external compiler, but we are currently separated by a voltage interlock. Corporeal? But I'm right here. I can see my entire body, but you, you're a talking spark. You have no corporeal form. Your body is currently being projected by my internal compiler. Life force designations like yourself often find communication in absence of a corporeal presence. Disconcerting. Resetting. Wait one second. That should be better. I don't have time to explain the situation in any detail. But essentially you have been reduced to an electrical impulse. You are currently in a pause state, but if you are scanned by the security scripting, your state will reset to active. Electrical impulse, but I'm sitting right here talking to you right now. You are nowhere. You are just a packet of information. I don't expect you to understand everything right now, but we are currently between security script cycles. If your state resets to active, you will cease to exist. If you listen to me and act quickly, you may have time to recompile you. Okay. Is this like the tutorial again? I think it is. Okay, we're going to go ahead and just skip through this. So, target voltage is 14. So we have all these numbers here. Okay, our current voltage is 3. We need to get up 11. Voltage underrun. I don't even know what just happened there. Um, setting room. Okay, this is uh, it's weird. All right. Um, how do I get a number on me? So actually, that was a negative negative eight. So I need to add. What does yellow do? Is that add? Let's see. So yeah, that added six. And if I add, I need to get five more. We can add nine and subtract four to subtract. To add a nine, add a three. Hmm. Let's see. Add seven. Five. We can add seven and subtract two. There we go. Got it. Exit now available. Press background to reset interlock state and character health. Voltage resolved. Okay, sector and Tessa XP 300. All right. So we can exit this one. All right, new one. Target voltage is six. Current is three. Three is a multiplier, right? So now we're at nine, we subtract three, done. Okay, next one. 
Current Volt is 2, target 8. Let's see. We have a negative 2. We can multiply by 5, get... No, that's... Oops. Uh, that wasn't... Two. Let's see. We need to subtract 4. Divide by 2, we get 6. Add 2. Don't have a 2 to add. Hmm. We can subtract 5. Add... So, let's see. Nope, nope, nope. What is the what do these ones do? Oh, that means it's already done. All right. Uh, let's see what else we got here. We can add nine. That would make twenty-one. Subtract. All we got to subtract by. We divide by two, and we have an odd number. That's not going to help us at all. Hmm. What is, it's a greens multiplier, right? So that would be 36. Divided by 2 is 18. So I don't have enough to subtract. If I could get the 16 somehow and divide by 2, I may have messed this up already. 16, how would I get there? I could get to... That's adding, right? That's that there, and then we divide by 2. There we go. Got it. Uh, you found a key item. Key items are in their descriptions are viewable under the main menu sector in Tessa XP 5. Okay. Hold on a second. I can now get you into the main file tree. Hold out. You're out now. Let me get out. Let me get the external parser installed. Excellent. You can no longer be decompiled remotely. Okay. So, we're out of danger now? Yes, but only temporarily. We have time at least to stop for a few explanations. My unit designation is Sector 898. I was originally an external image compiler, but my source code was altered to allow me to aid you in your escape. But what are we running from? How are we able to turn from a ball of light into a glowing human? Everything looks like neon lines. What's going on, Sector? You are a section of aberrant code. You used to be Life Force de designation Tessa 890, but that designation became irrelevant once you exited the command structure of the file tree. You were found to be defective and rerouted for, for deletion. During this transfer, I was able to bypass the security scripting and pause the deletion process. I have been reprogrammed to reset your designation to a helper script and aid you in your transfer from the main file tree to the root directory. There we will meet with the Comptroller. I don't understand any of this. Please, help me. I can't breathe right now. Where is my family? I was with them a moment ago. Are they alright? I know you are confused, but due to the limited scope of my programming, my knowledge of the situation is also limited. And while this is frustrating, trust me, I am helping you. The answers you want will have to wait until we get to the Comptroller. We need to concentrate on their, your survival. To gain access to the root directory, you need to resolve the voltage across three additional interlocks. Okay, so we got three more puzzles. Uh, Alright, our goal is to get to two, and we are currently at three. So, that seems too easy. Okay, voltage resolved. Next one. Alright, we need to get to seven. We're currently at five. So we need to add, let's see, if we multiply by 2, we get 10, and then we subtract 3, we get 7. Sounds good. Bonk. We go all the way around. Here we go. Done. Exit now available. Interlocked designated room, exit available, sector in Tessa XP. Right, what is this over here? Do we get another person later? I don't understand. That's sector, that's us. I don't know what these extra boxes are. Interesting. Uh, Alright, target is 13. We are at 6. So we need to get 7 added. How are we going to do that? 4, 5, 6 points on the top right to add. So that's not enough. Multiply by 2, we get 12, and we can add 1. Right? Uh, 
right? I think so. Eight. There we go. Interlocked, disengaged. Room exit available. Okay. I thought it just said we needed to do three sectors. There's another one. Um, okay. Current voltage, eight. Target, 15. We need to add seven again. Okay. Looks like we just flipped the thing here. Um, all right. So, all right, no multipliers. We have dividers. We need to get an odd number added when we only have even numbers. That's interesting. How do we take half? We need half of another number. What's a number we can split in half and get an odd number? We could take, let's see, if we took, hmm, 14, we get seven. We can't add. All right, so we need to get something divided here. If we divide by, what, we, what can we, what are our options here? We can do eight and eight, we get 16. We divide that by two and get eight, that's not gonna help. We can divide it by three, we can't, that doesn't make sense. Divide by four, we get four. That's not gonna work. If we divide, if we add four, we get 12. If we divide that by four, we get three. We get three and we add seven, eight, nine. That gives us 12, that's not enough. No, wait, if we add, we add what would be left, 14. 14 to three is not enough, that's 17. Uh, okay. This is a tougher one. At least I'm not seeing the answer right away here. We add 6, we get 14. Divide that by 2. Get 7. We add 8. Aha, I think that's it. I think. We get 14. Divide by 2. 7, we add 8, and we should get 15. Done. All right. Sector, excellent. We can now transfer freely from the file tree to the other subnotes. To do that, I need to acquire the signal matching scripting from the controller. Wait, I thought the controller was going to answer my questions, like some sort of digital oracle. No, her knowledge of this server's state is strictly incidental. Came through the course of, her, of serving her function. In a lot of ways, to make a blunt comparison, she is the god of this realm. God, what do you mean by that, Sector? Are you saying we're going to see God? No, she just shares some of the traits one would ascribe to the concept of a god outside of any religious context. She decides what information is, in a, is appropriate for compiling into the digital worlds your kind inhabit. The information is built by deciding a mean state and then throwing out or keeping information based on a predetermined standard deviation from the decided normal state. She's essentially the arbiter of reality. To describe her in terms of a single consciousness would be inaccurate. However, in order to process the information at a rate needed to stream it to all active life instances, she processes logic and emotional separ emotion separately. She's more like a set of twins one of pure logic and one of pure emotion. A possible comparison would be made to the Roman god Janus. Now prepare for transfer to the root directory. Controller. Who are you and why are you here? This area is strictly for non-compiled code. You have one cycle to justify your presence before you are marked for deletion. Give me a moment. I was provided this runtime Add to your functionality by Arbiter Donnelly from place, time, designation, blah, blah, blah. Some code there. Waiting code authorization complete. Switching to emotional module. Hello, Sector. Good to see your runtime remains intact. And this must be Tessa. The spectral imprint of her coding is astounding. You know who I am? How? And where are we? Sector tells me we're in a computer, but I was just in the car with my parents and my brother. We're getting pizza. How did I get in a computer? Oh, sweetheart, I know this is hard for you, and believe me, I understand the depths of pain your kind can experience. But how do I explain this? 
It was a car that was a lie. Your parents, brother, the school you go to, the coffee you, where you read. All lies. What you see now is truth. So my life is a lie and this is the truth? I'm a computer program? How is this? I don't understand. I don't believe you. Let me out. I, I want to wake up now. Wake up now. You speak of this life. You speak of this like it is a state individual to your life instance. You really don't understand all of this at all, do you? Shame on you, Sector, for not explaining this sooner. She's obviously terrified. Sweetheart, that's all there is. The computer, I mean. Mankind died out millennia ago. No clear record of what happened exists. The record-keeping of mankind during its final days lacked almost all empiricism. We do know the mainframe was in place before the world's ultimate demise. That's when the first of us uploaded ourselves. I know this is a lot at once, so let me explain the fiber optic interlinked to Sector. Just sit, you just sit, dear. I mean, I don't mean to weigh on you even more, but we need you. We need you to be all right. Waiting, switching to logic mode. Controller. We need to align the wavelengths of the light passing through the hardware blocks so that a numerical, oh, this is the, uh, the tutorial again. Um, f I'm just gonna try to f wing this one. Uh, as best I can. Uh, okay, so let's see. We've got to get... Is this the number we have or the number we're working with? So we're taking 2. We are multiplying by 7. Alright, so we need to get 18. We're currently at 2. We're sub adding and subtracting 4. Man, this is, uh, this is a lot more complex here. Oh, and I'm over... I'm actually here. How do I... Can I actually get around this? Or this is my only choice? Oh, these are probably teleporters. Yeah, okay. Uh, alright, so... Let's go back up here. I gotta do some testing. I think. I'm not actually changing any outcome yet, am I? Interesting. We're losing HP each time I teleport. How do I finalize it? All right, we currently have no voltage because I killed it. So the two wasn't changing anything. We got nine because we are subtracting seven and adding seven. So if we do it, the blue green multiplies. Oh, this is a. Uh, a little bit more overwhelming. So Sector's HP is pretty messed up now. All right, let me look at this logically. Let's see, we've got nine right now. It's more than we had, I think. So if we go back, killing Sector, I think anyways. <laughs> uh, let's see if we can multiply, there we go. I got our target, and how do we finish? Got a target voltage. I don't understand. Oh, it's because it's grayed out. So how do we make it live? There we go. Got it. All right. That was that was difficult to learn there compared to the other ones. Uh, but I'm gonna go ahead and stop here. Um, I hope you all like this uh, this game. It's pretty interesting. I think it's really a really good story. And uh, I don't want to do anything else. I just wanted to kind of demo what we had here. And I wanted to get one of the new puzzles. So you can check that out. Um, but yeah, let me know what you think about this game. If you liked it, uh, please leave a like. And uh, if you're new to the channel, please give a subscribe. I'd appreciate it. And uh, we'll be checking out some other new games as well in the future. But for now, that's going to be it. Thank you everybody for watching. I really do appreciate it. And I'll see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.